Happy New Year, Cherry Blossom family. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And for those returning subscribers, hi guys. I'm so glad that you're back. Welcome to the first video of 2020. For the first video of 2020, I thought it would be super fun to go back in time, like 25-ish years or so. So my mom sent me a box of stuff from my childhood, like a huge box. I mean, it was like a filing box where they had like several reams of paper and it was like that full of stuff from my bedroom from when I was a child. And obviously there was some Disney stuff in there. There was also some Backstreet Boys stuff in there. For those of you that don't know, I am a massive fan of the Backstreet Boys. I have been since I was a little girl. And so I have one funny bonus item that I'm gonna include at the end of the video that I, I definitely want to show you guys because it cracked me up. But anyway, so let's go ahead and dig into the Disney crap that was in my childhood bedroom. So I will say I have no idea when I got these items, uh, what year they are from, what I mean, one of them specifically what playset it is from. I don't know a ton about these items, but I do know and I do remember them from my childhood. And I grew up like between, I would say like 1990-ish through early 2000s-ish. So that was like when I was like a, a child. I'm, I'm just turned 34, so I was born the end of 85, right? So I remember having things and getting things like early childhood in like the early 90s. So in this box, there were a couple of really, really cool things. One was really small and it like really pulled on my heartstrings because I remember playing with it as a child and it brought back so many memories. I actually remember taking this toy to my cousin Billy's wedding, which is like, I had to probably be like seven or eight at the time, I believe. Um, mom, if you know, comment below. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> Here he is. This is a Sebastian toy. And I believe, if I remember correctly, this was actually from a play set that I had as a child. So this is from the Les Poissons scene. And it is very, it's like, um, it's very malleable, right? Like it's like super bendy. But here is Sebastian's little face. He doesn't look very amused here. And I love the details of the lettuce. In really good condition. I mean, I guess like children's plasticky rubbery toys hold up very well. I was so excited to add this mainly because I have a lot of childhood memories with this little toy here. You'll have to let me know down below if you have a toy kind of like this one uh, that is like of the smaller kind that really uh, was something that was really special to your heart. I was so excited to see this when I got it and it was so funny that one of the first things I remember was taking this to Billy's wedding, which was so random. <laughs> So random. So as I was talking, my hair like, my hair tie like popped off and like flung across the room and like my hair fell. It was really funny. I'm back now, I fixed my little floofy buns. So the next item that I'm gonna show you guys is something that I had on a shelf in my room and I believe it was like later on in my childhood that I got this item. It's really super pretty. It is this. Ariel teapot. This is by the company called Chrysler and it is a Disney licensed product so you could probably buy it at the Disney store. And the thing that I think is the coolest part about this teapot is that her tail is iridescent as well as, sorry I'm going to take her head off, as well as the flower on the back of her hair and then all of the little sea stars that are on the bottom of this teapot. It is so beautiful. I'm assuming there's flounder, Sebastian. I'm assuming this is something that you should not put actual tea in. I think it's just decorative. 
but I really think it's so pretty. I love how her hair looks. There's plenty of room on my shelving to add her in, so you'll see that in a future video when I actually show you all of my Little Mermaid collection, but this is a really cool, really amazing piece. I'm so glad that it arrived in one piece. My mom did a really good job packaging it very well. And I did look up a little bit about that teapot just because I was very curious, and apparently there was a ton of those teapots produced in the, I believe it was late, 90s mid 90s to early 2000s and so if you had a Chrysler teapot I mean because there's a very good chance that lots of people have these as well because they were all different types of characters that were really cool they also have an Ursula one which I saw on eBay and I was like oh wouldn't that be so cool to have like a Little Mermaid and an Ursula teapot like next to each other mm, yeah so that might be coming in the future, I don't know yet. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna do it. Third item that I wanna show you is such a blast from the past. So it's actually a picture frame, and it is a Little Mermaid picture frame, but what's really funny is my mom decided to put a picture of Jesse and I from when we were in high school. And yes, we've been, my husband and I have been together since we were in high school, and it just made me so happy. So here, I'm gonna show you this picture I took frame. the picture out because I wanted to show you how beautiful this picture frame is. It's three-dimensional. It does have a little chip in the upper corner, which I'm, you know what, it is what it is. It was like from a very long time ago. I don't know how long ago. It's got Ariel, Flounder, Sebastian, the sides, so it's like a book, right? So the sides have this really pretty gold glitter detail, and then it looks this coloring reminds me of Eric's statue from the Little Mermaid film. It's just such a pretty distinct color. And I, I do really love that Ariel's got her dingle hopper. Now this is what's gonna make it so fun. <laughs> so here is the picture that she included inside of this picture frame. This was from 2003. This was Jesse and I during a trick-or-treat so kids can eat event where we dressed up, did trick-or-treating on trick-or-treat, and then asked for canned goods for a local charity. And I was a pirate, and my mom made this pirate outfit, and I still have it. It's so cute. It's like black, and it's got these rainbow stars all over it. And then Jesse's in like a matador costume. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Jesse has hair in this. You might, you may have never uh, seen him with hair. Uh, he started shaving his head like right after, it was 2004, he actually started shaving his head. So anywho, here is my really amazing picture frame. It doesn't have like any markings. It has a barcode on here that says the Disney store. I just don't know when the Disney store had it, but I think I'm gonna keep this picture in here and just like put it on the shelf because this is like, I haven't seen this picture for so long. <laughs> it was so cool to see it. Another thing that was in here that was the only thing that was Disney trip specific was this. And if you guys don't know what this is, this is a film canister. So back in the day when you had to have film for your camera, you would place your film inside of this canister. But what is in here is actually smashed pennies. And what is so crazy, we took one trip to Disney when I was a kid, once. Like we, I, I didn't grow up anywhere near the parks. I grew up in the Midwest. And what is so cool is all of my pressed pennies from when we went to California, Disneyland, Universal Studios, and uh, SeaWorld are, were all in this. And it was from 1992. And I, I was so excited to show you. We're big fans of Smash Pennies in my family. Basically everywhere we go, we get Smash Pennies. And you guys probably have seen in my Tokyo hauls, which I'm gonna link, uh, link up above for you guys to see. In the Tokyo hauls, I got a ton of Smash Pennies. Their Smash Penny machines over there were amazing. But if you collect Smash Pennies, you'll have to let me know down below. And what's your the oldest that you have? Because I believe these are my oldest and that was 1992, which is, insane. So let's take a look at these. Universal Studios. This is a Jaws penny from the Universal Studios tour where Jaws like pops out onto the boat, which he popped out right by my dad, which was terrifying as a child. We've got SeaWorld of California, another Universal Studios. 
This is Dolly the dolphin from SeaWorld. The uh, I survived an earthquake at the Universal Studios tour coin. A Shamu coin from California. This is so cool. We have an original 1992 Mickey Mouse smushed penny. And then another one that's a very similar to that one, but this one says Disneyland. I definitely don't have a lot from that trip. I have a couple of pictures and I also have these coins now, which is kind of cool. So I do have a picture with me in Beauty and the Beast, a picture with me in front of the rescue rangers. They had like cutouts of the rescue rangers. And I had a picture with me and all the rescue rangers. And then there's a picture of me like where my mom is like putting on my Minnie Mouse hat. And so I will always cherish those memories, but it was kind of cool to have something physical that was actually from the trip that I hadn't seen it probably maybe since 1992. I don't know, for a long time, that's for sure. And then a bonus item that I want to show you is <laughs> I have a deep obsession with the Backstreet Boys, which you guys know, but you'll have to tell me down below if you have, what is your maybe guilty pleasure obsession or deep obsession from your childhood that still rings true today? And hey, there is no shame in that comment section, so you let me, you let me know down below. Mine is AJ from the Backstreet Boys. You guys know this. And actually what's really crazy is I bought one of those video calls and it's happening tomorrow, which is Friday, so wish me luck, but my mom's like, I have this AJ pillow I want to send you, and for the life of me, I could not remember or recall what she was talking about. This is what she was talking about. Okay, now, this is from a video called, this was the remake video of I'll Never Break Your Heart, and this is AJ staring into himself in a broken mirror. Yes, that's all I have to say. <laughs> now, I've had this for like a week. It is like proudly displayed in my YouTube room. It was like sitting on this chair, and that is where it will permanently be. I am so excited to have this. It feels like it was one of those that like we ironed on, which I'm pretty sure that we did. Uh, I don't believe this was like a licensed merchandise. It looks like a really cheap uh, pillow that we constructed ourselves. Good on us back in like 1997 or 1998. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so fun. I hope that you enjoyed this trip down at memory lane with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please be sure to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye.